I actually have the pattern. I'm going to read the pattern, do the thing. So we start with our tail, four inch tail, make your slip knot, and the long end through. We have a little slip knot. Put your hook through the slip knot on the fat part of the hook. Pull the long the yarn that's still attached to the ball to make it snug but not too tight around your hook. And the pattern says to chain four. So I chain one, two, three, four. And then it says to slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. So I'm gonna put my hook through this first chain. That tail out of the way. I yarn over, pull my hook through both of those loops so that we have this itty bitty little circle Then the instructions say to chain six, one, two. I move my fingers up as I go, so I'm started with holding it here, but now I want to hold it closer to the hook. Three, here we go, four, five, six. Okay, and then it says three double crochets, chain three, three times into the ring. Oh, there goes my yarn. So this is the first time I'm going to yarn over. This is my double crochet. Yarn over, put my hook in the middle of that loop, yarn over, pull my yarn back through and then I have this big old mess here I'm gonna pull use my fingers to pull that down so I can clearly see the three loops on my hook and put them on the fat part of my hook so that I make sure they stay the right size so I'm halfway through my first double crochet now I'm going to continue with my first double crochet yarn over pull through two of those loops yarn over pull through the other two loops so that is one, I'm pulling it around on the ring so that it's close to our chain. So that's one double crochet and I need to make three double crochets. So I'm going to do it again, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, pull back through, and then use my fingers to organize my stitches so that I can see my three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now I have two double crochets. And they're both going through the middle of this ring here. So here's my chain six, here's two double crochets. Now we're gonna do a third double crochet. Yarn over through the middle, yarn over, pull it back through that ring. Organize ourselves before we finish our double crochet, yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, so now we have our three double crochets and it says to chain three, one, moving my fingers up closer for better control, two, three, all right. So that is, this right there is in the instructions, that's this first part. Chain six, three double crochet, chain three. All right, that we've done it one time and it says we need to do it three times. So I'm gonna repeat the three double crochet, chain three into this ring. So here's my one double crochet.
Okay. And I'm gonna, you're gonna wanna like, this is, should be loose on your ring. You should be able to move these stitches around. So I'm going to try to keep them all next to each other because we're gonna fill up this ring. That's how we make our, our granny square. Get more yarn. Get out of the way, okay. So we're on our second cluster. They don't call it that in this pattern, but that's what it's called generally in most patterns. Your three double crochets together is called a cluster. So one double crochet, two double crochets. Okay, three double crochets. Okay. And then it says to chain three, one, two, three. All right, so I've made that same repeat two times now. This is my three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, chain three. And I'm going to do it again. One double crochet. Two double crochet, three double crochet. Okay, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Let's see here. All right. Review, here's our chain six, three double crochets, chain three once, three double crochets, chain three twice, three double crochets, chain three a third time. Okay, so now we're to the part on the pattern where it says um, to do two double crochets and then to join. And that's what's gonna make our square. So we're right here, we've got three sides of a square. We're going to do two, two more double crochets right into the middle. One. That's one double crochet. We're gonna squeeze one in right in between here. Kind of the last spot in that ring that's available. There's one more double crochet. And when it says to join, that means you're going to do a slip stitch into the third loop of this original chain six. So we have one, two, three. We're going to slip our hook into that third little loop. Okay, and a slip stitch is just one yarn over and you pull through all your loops on your hook. Yarn over. Hold on to my little square here. I'm going to pull through that loop and pull through the other loop. Kind of tighten the yarn a little bit. And that completes round one of the pattern. Now the only thing I would change about this pattern, if it was up to me, is after round one, I would have you turn your work this way and go around again in the opposite direction. But maybe we'll talk about that in a different video. So that's round one of Granny Square.